All right, this video is gonna be all about the Weber Performer. My very good friend uh, was able to give this to me for Christmas. So we're gonna try her out and uh, I'm gonna tell you what I think about it. First of all, the table is super cool. I love this metal kind of type on the top. It's very sturdy and one of my favorite things that I like about it is that it's very easy to move. Super simple and easy. It's not heavy at all. It's like super, super uh, lightweight. I was extremely impressed. Unlike my smoker, as you can see here, I actually built a custom cart for my uh, smoker. And uh, I'll show you that in another video. That's super heavy. <laughs> Anyway, we'll talk about that in another video. But it's so light that I actually move it with only one hand. You see? One hand, I can drive it all the way across my backyard. So I think it's awesome on that perspective. Uh, another cool thing about it yeah, is that this cleaning system here, it's really cool. Uh, I like the way it looks and it's also Super easy and clean, uh, simple to clean the ashes. Now, this thing here, they call it a charcoal. Um, you're supposed to put like your charcoal or something, but forget that, to me it makes no sense. So I'm actually using it as a trash can. And uh, it's very convenient. You prepare something in here and you put it on the bottom. It also comes with this watch, like a timer. Why? So that you know you can keep time or whatever. But why would you want to use that? I, I have my iPhone, so that makes absolutely no sense to me. I wish they would have put something else, maybe a thermometer, a meat thermometer, or something. This is I don't know. I don't like it. Um, here's pretty cool. You can hang your tools in here, and here is just a, a regular Weber. I actually never owned a, a Weber. So this is gonna be my actually first time cooking on a Weber. I have my cooking areas over there with a lot of, anyway, that's the time for another video. But there's a temperature gauge here. As you can see, there's some charcoal there still uh, warming up. And uh, this is pretty smooth, so smooth. I saw some other Webers on Bass Pro Shop and it was really tight, the cheap ones. So this one, it's, it's pretty cool. This handle here is actually a little warm. Even though there's this heat deflector here, it's a little warm. But um, anyway, I'm gonna keep talking about it and tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I do think it looks nice. And um, it's another barbecue toy. I'm going to do it right now is just uh, cook a steak, but this is not about the cooking. It's more about what I think about this uh, this table. Uh, I don't know if to call it table or a barbecue or barbecue station, but uh, it's pretty cool. The seal on it, it's okay, you see? No wiggle at all. All right, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and cook a steak. All right, so just really quickly, I am going to be cooking these two ribeyes. I am going to split one in the middle and I am going to do the other one completely um, as uh, almost like an inch and a half thick, just to give it a, a real good test and test it close, open. As you know, I never cooked on a Weber, so I have no idea what to expect. I'm gonna season these like I always do with all my steaks. I don't do nothing but salt and pepper. I don't like to use fine salt. Uh, I like to use uh, coarse salt, salt as you see here. This is the Brazilian way. This is the way I've learned to make steaks. Uh, this is the way I've always done it. And to me, there's absolutely nothing better. So um, I'll talk about it, the steak a little bit as I uh, as I keep the cook going. All right, so uh, the cool part about it is this little lid here. I can actually open and close while I'm cooking and 
put some charcoal if needed <laughs> but I tell you what I cooked these three steaks in here and during the entire time of the cook I did not have to reload uh, the charcoal whatsoever and the second steak that I just put it in there as you can see it's quite uh, thick so it took a, a little bit longer than uh, it actually takes a little while to do uh, I like to add butter to my um, steaks as I'm cooking them it gives that nice rich golden brown flavor I, I mean I just love it so that's the way I do it but anyway that round part area there that you see that big steak where I'm gonna flip right now that comes completely off either for reloading or whatever other reason um, so it, it works really good the seal when I closed it no smoke comes out whatsoever it's 100% sealed and uh, so I really like that part I was expecting when I open it up uh, a little bit of the ashes would come up uh, but not at all as you can see here it was perfectly fine uh, even though the seal is really good it uh, no ashes came up whatsoever I guess it's because I have that roller thing on the back and I can roll it very easily back and forth with uh, zero issues at all if I raise it all the way up to the top you see there were no um, uh, ashes coming up whatsoever and uh, this system about opening and closing to the back over there <laughs> man that's awesome I absolutely love that part <laughs> So at this point, we're probably about 20 minutes into the cook and I wanted to get a nice uh, shot of the steak there so you can see what it looks like. It's coming out good, no complaints whatsoever there. Put a nice Cuban bread there. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here's I try to show you a little bit of the cooker and you can see there's absolutely no smoke coming out of it whatsoever. That's the rolling to the side thing. Uh, it's very convenient, very easy to use and also extremely smooth uh, no hips whatsoever no hiccups uh, going back and forth but it's absolutely perfect um, so these steaks were for my kids and also for my wife and for me um, so I end ended up cooking a little bit medium well that's how they like it took about 25 minutes to I would say about 30 minutes max this was the first steak and I just uh, wanted to show you real quick. Uh, this is for my daughter. She likes it medium well um, and it came out great. And she actually told me that's uh, one of the best steaks that uh, she's eaten. So I guess that's good because she's very, very picky and she use, she's used to very good meat. Here's uh, the big chunk of steak. And uh, first thing I did is uh, saw the marbleization out of it uh, when it was cooked it came out perfect and I try to cut a piece in here to see how well it cooked inside um, it cooked really good did it leave a smoky flavor um, not really um, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more smoky uh, but he actually didn't so I was a little bit surprised about that I'm used to cooking in a Brazilian barbecue. It's uh, brick, uh, and it actually has a lot more uh, smoky flavor than this one. And I was expecting, because the lid was gonna be closed, that the smokiness would be uh, much, much more pronounced. And I was surprised that uh, it didn't. Uh, but at the same time, the steak was very juicy. Uh, and uh, for a medium well steak, uh, I have to say that it was it was pretty good. I'm going to cook another one uh, the way I like it. This is a little bit too well done for me, uh, but this is the way my wife likes it uh, and uh, my kids and daughter and, and so forth. So that per perspective is good. Uh, so, so my final thoughts about this uh, barbecue, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I was very grateful that my friend gave it to me and I will be using it uh, very, very much so. Um, there's no comparison uh, for me to do because I've actually never cooked on a Weber so I will be getting a lot more experience um, and I'll be posting a lot more videos about it I hope you guys like this video uh, if you have an opportunity to buy this uh, barbecue do it um, you will not be disappointed uh, there's nothing like cooking charcoal charcoal is amazing um, so you know 
I hope you like this video. Um, I try to be as honest as I can. Um, if you haven't done so, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I love to hear your comments, what you think about it. I'll be cooking, doing a lot of cooking things, um, cooking a lot of meat, especially. Uh, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.